everybody. This is part two or four or seven of our very long but very fun trip to South Carolina. So after the show, we definitely had to hit one of our favorite places, Galactic Comics. So shout out to Dale. He definitely hooked us up for some really good stuff. Um, and he's normally not open that day, but he, he knew we were coming down, had to get some things, and um, we were helping him bring in some comics and stuff and just wanted to do a tour of the store. So if you have not seen that video yet, please go see the tour of Galactic Comics because you get to see the whole thing section by section of all the really cool stuff they have and one of the things I really like about them is they definitely support local artists and local creators so that's really awesome I'll get more into that later but I did want to show you what we got from there so we got this really cool triclops I love him he is like super green and awesome looking so this is definitely going to go in our collection and he's not going to get opened he's going to stay as is but yeah this is one of the beautiful ones for Mattel so I love it and I'll show you the back cute right yeah my husband goes there and he definitely just goes right for the he-man section because and we have drained him dry of his he-man so if anybody out there is like selling he-man or like thundercats like hit up my friend Dale at Galactic Comics because we keep buying them out. All right, so this one, this is Fire Armor Skeletor. Serious business. Um, my husband's like, do I have him? I was like, uh, chances are you don't. I don't remember seeing something so flamboyant. Get it? And, um, <laughs> and this, I'm not doing the staff, but <laughs> look how cool. Nice. And he's got like fire swords. And he just looks, this is a hot action figure, guys. Look, I'm just hitting you with puns today. It's that kind of day. I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm going to stop, I swear. But looks very nice. He's definitely going to get added to our collection. And I think most of them are behind me. They are. Cool. There's no room in there. We need another shelf badly. And we keep trying to go to Ikea, get another one. And they keep saying they're out of stock. Like these are very important shelves. They're beautiful for collecting. So as soon as they find one, as soon as they get them back in, we're going down for a trip. Definitely not getting it delivered. <sighs> Costs more than the, more than the actual shelf itself to deliver, but got to get that Ikea stuff. I, I swear. All right, cool. So we got Jungle Attack He-Man. Oh yeah, he looks all Rambo-like. <laughs> yeah, he's got like some war paint on him and he's got some daggers and oh, he looks neat. Yeah, he's got daggers everywhere. He's got them like in his boots and everything. Look, look, he's got chopping action. Look at that, that's like stabby action, guys. That's not chopping action. That's like he's gonna stab someone with one of his um, why does he not want to stand for me? Like, I don't Standing figures is not one of my things. But he's got this really cool bow. Um, and just in case you were curious, there's going to be no string on these for, like, safety reasons. Because, you know, children play with these. You don't want them, like, getting hurt on them or anything. And look at these little, little arrows. Like, I'm... There you go. But yeah, he definitely has a bunch of stabby stuff. Um, but look, look at this. And it's, oh my goodness, it's got blades on it. That That's really neat. And I'm, I'm pretty sure these go to that, but still, I just wanted him to hold one of those, but like him. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't really going for like, originally not going to get all the crazy He-Man, different armor, all that stuff, but it's kind of cool. I like it. I'm going to spin him around for you guys so you can see him. He's standing a lot better now, thank goodness. We had an agreement. We come to terms. But I love it. Very, very nice. And one of the thing is, like, we really weren't going to go for these because we didn't want to get into the whole, like, collector aspect of it. We just kind of wanted to get what we needed. But the prices are so reasonable. Like, I can't pass these up because, like, like everything in that store is reasonable. I, I, that's one of the reasons why we keep going back. But just, like, the, the great customer service and also just the selection alone and, like, the pricing. So, oh, my goodness. 
He is so neat looking. He's shiny. And I did it. Cool. Um, so this is Battle Sound Skeletor. So um, he probably does make sound at some point. Um, do I know how to do it? I sure don't. But am I going to learn? Sure will. He looks really cool. He's so shiny. I love when they add that, um, the different shiny textures to the action figures. It gives like a whole nother, it's like so appealing to the eye because it just, it takes like a whole different approach to the action figure and it just, it makes it stand out. It makes it special and it really draws in the kids. I'll tell you that. They love the shiny stuff. So absolutely love him. I'm going to turn around for you. He's got like a King Triton kind of headpiece on though. He looks like a straight warrior. I like him. All right, Mr. Skeletor, are you ready to come back? Cool. All right, and the next two were mine. I, I mean, I can't go there without finding anything. And if you guys saw the video um, of the tour, when I did a double take of the micro machines and I showed you the Power Rangers, yeah, I bought them. Like, of course I was. Did you really think I wasn't? So I got this one mainly because I really love Goldar. I don't know why. It was between him and the one with the King Sphinx because King Sphinx is my favorite monster because I think he's one of the first ones. Um, but what ultimately won out in all of this was I like the Blue Ranger more than I like the Red Ranger. Billy was my second favorite. I definitely love Tommy. He was awesome. I liked him more as the White Ranger because, you know, the whole drama with the Green Ranger and everything. Like, he was made by Rita Repulsa to go against the Power Rangers. Like, so he kind of shed his bad and became part of the Power Rangers team, put on the White Ranger, the hero, the good guy. So... I'm sorry, my geek is showing, but I love me some Power Rangers. Like, that is the first time I actually remember actually asking for an action figure is when the Power Rangers were coming out. All my friends had them, but that, like, really wasn't the reason why. I loved the show, and I really wanted to do all the moves and stuff while watching the cartoon. So I begged, begged, begged my mom, please find me some Power Rangers toys. And of course, they're all sold out everywhere. You couldn't find anything. Like, it's just, like the whole thing with the Cabbage Patch Kids, and like, it, it's just ridiculous, the toys back then. So, we wound up getting like a little Bobo, a little knockoff from um, the Berlin auction, and I actually still have him to this day. He is upstairs in my toy box. Yeah, I'm a grown woman with a toy box. I just said that, but it's okay. I have my toy box from when I was little, and it's a Nike. Um, shoe box. It's like yay tall. It's clear. It's got all my favorite little toys in it. So my Bobo Blue Ranger is definitely in there. All right. And then the next one. I love this. Yes, it's not vintage. I get it, but it's still really neat. I'm going to have to face the facts. My son is three years old. He's eventually going to have to go to school sooner than later. And when he does, I want him to go in style. Um, he has a custom lunchbox for him to go to school, which you guys have seen in another video. And this is gonna go inside. I mean, as a parent, I love it because it's got the turtles and I really love the water bottle. That's gonna be neat. And it's like a whole snack box. It can keep his like sandwiches from getting crushed. I'm so excited for him to have this, but um, it was a real blast going there. And um, the thing I did want to talk about is that um, they support local artists. They have, as you saw in the video, hopefully, they had some custom um, artwork up on the wall um, by local artists and also in their clothing that they sell. Some of it's vintage, some of it is actually made, um, like that Spider-Man polo that I showed in the last video. Um, that's local as well. And he also supports local comic book artists. And yes, we're not technically local, but we go there enough. We're friends. So so um, he definitely was interested in taking our comic and selling it in his store. It is my son's comic, The Bubbler. And I actually think I have, I wanted to show you if I have them in my box, what side it would be in. Yep, I got it. Nope, nope, that's Argyle Avenger. But I'm going to show you that anyway because we are selling you that. We are selling that there too. Um... No, that's the graphic novel. Guys, I don't think I have it in here. 
Or if it is, I really can't find it. I don't remember. We are selling the G-Man one too. So I'm going to show you the G-Man. Cannot find the generic bubbler at the moment. But this is the one that we are selling as well at his store. Um, this was a crossover um, with Chris G. Russo. He does great work for Marvel. He does mini Marvels. He also does um, a lot of comic book covers um, in, his, in his style. He is so creative. Um, he's actually a really good friend of ours. And I love Chris. Um, so... Yeah, he actually, you know, worked with our son Xavier, and we did purchase the rights for like a million dollars. I don't remember how much it was, but it was a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this is one of the things that we're selling there, um, just to give you a little taste. It's my son Xavier. He created um, a character when he was five years old, and this is him, the bubbler, and he wanted to clean up crime against his brother, Dirty DJ, who may or may not be in this book. We don't know. So, um, with the crossover, we wound up getting our friend Chad Porter to do the art. And I think this is one of the first comic books he's ever done, like putting it together. And he did an amazing job. So, thank you, Chad. He does a lot of stuff for us because, like, we're like family. He is our, um, brother from another country pretty much um love him so thank you chad for all the work but yeah you can find this there and you can also find this is my husband's creation one of his creations anyway um he does have the tote man you are not alone but we give that out at comic book conventions and things and to organizations and just fans that write in and you know send us a story um but this is um his story about you know what happens when you lose that sock? Like, you always start out with two socks. You have two. You buy them in twos. But they go in the washing machine. They go in the dryer. And then all of a sudden, a sock is gone. What's he doing? Apparently, he is out fighting crime. So that is what the Argyle Avenger is all about. It is his silent narrative of his adventure. He meets friends along the way. And he... Uh, he definitely has a really good adventure, so um, if you guys ever get a chance, if you guys ever go down to the store, please check out the merchandise that's down there. Like, Motu fans, he definitely has a um, attorney at a cell that I would really like to see go to a good home, and he just got a really cool air hockey table that I really want, so... I was really sad. There is literally no room in this house for an air hockey table. Um, but I will show you, this is the cover of the bubbler um, and what it looks like. And yeah, every year he just takes it and does something different with it. So originally, you know, it's a little five-year-old story, really simple storyline. And then, you know, it's getting to where, you know, he's older now and he's questioning whether this is something he really wants to do, if he wants to keep helping people and, you know, if it's actually making a difference. He's questioning, you know, his own identity and stuff. So, yep. So that is something that's going to be at the store as well. So again, if you guys get a chance, please go check out Galactic Comics in Florence, South Carolina and go see our friend Dale. Um, and go like the video on there as well because, and go check out the other video if you haven't seen it yet because you can get a whole tour of the store and the link for the store is going to actually be in the description. So take a look. Um, did one of our... Hello everyone. I am so excited because we've reached our goal of 300 subscribers on the channel. So thank you guys so much for your support. It means so much to me, especially you guys have been commenting and really getting engaged in the videos and that means a lot. It means you're watching. So now that we've gotten to our 300, I think I'm going to set a new goal and we're slowly approaching 400. So I think the next milestone is going to be 500. So if we hit 500 subscribers, I think I want to do another walkthrough and we have two rooms that I really want to show off. My husband's office that has some really cool stuff in it and our second toy room downstairs that has all things toys down there. So what I would like you guys to do is to continue to like and subscribe and to comment as usual. And also once you subscribe, hit that bell for the, the notifications so you can hear and see our new videos that are coming out or the old ones too. Um, so yeah, let's get there. Let's get to 500. I kind of want to show off our rooms. So we'll see you guys real soon and continue to spread the word and support. Bye guys.